Hi, I'm Christy Maver, VP of Marketing at Numenta, and I'm sitting here with Jeff Hawkins, co-founder of Numenta. Hi, Christy. So, Jeff, we sat in this very room about the same time last year, and one of the things that we did was I was asking you to look ahead at 2017 and talk about what, what ask you what you were excited about. The thing that stood out to me was you said 2017 would be almost all focused on this new research advance from last year. So here we are at the end of 2017. Can you talk about that? Was it focused on that advance? Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, about, uh, um, actually it was February of 2016. We had a big idea, a big advance uh, about how a cortex um, uh, learns how to make predictions when you move. Uh, it's like what's called sensory, sensory motor, motor inference. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and it was the idea that the cortex is, gets sensory input, but it also determines where that sensory input is on, in, relative to things in the world. Okay. So uh, that's really was a big idea, and we've been focused on it almost exclusively over the last year. Um, we did get our first major paper on this, published in uh, October, end of October of this year. Um, that was in Frontiers and Neural Circuits. So we're really excited about that. Um, and, but we have made, we've been focusing on this. And so that paper represents the advances actually quite a while ago because it takes a long time to get papers published. Sure. But we've been, throughout this last year, we've been making numerous advances and the theory has really progressed uh, significantly. Uh, so that has been our main focus. That's great. So one of the things that happened about midway through this year is there was a, a shift of in, in priorities, which I know you actually did a blog about, yeah. um, which was more of a focus on research. So can you talk about that shift and, and what the implications are of it? Yeah, what, what basically what happened, this advance I just mentioned, um, opens up sort of a floodgate of ideas. It was like all of a sudden all kinds of things we struggled to understand in the past about the brain and about the neocortex started to make sense. And so we just wanted to focus on that. We didn't want to get distracted from anything else. This is our primary mission, as you know, right. to reverse engineer the neocortex. And so uh, we just really want to not have any distractions. It's, it's, we feel it's extremely exciting and important uh, to get flush out the implications and, and get as far as we can. So that's why we decided to like not do anything else. And we say basically invested more in research and researchers and less in um, sort of practical applications of the technology. Okay, so that makes sense. Our, our primary mission, as you said, is a scientific one, and yeah. that supports this. But you also often talk about our secondary mission, which has to do with applying this to machine intelligence technology. So what, what happens to that mission? Uh, it hasn't gone away. It's still okay. there, but secondary is secondary, right? So you have to take care yes. of first things first. Um, to the extent that we're making so much progress on our first mission of scientific discovery, um, we kind of delay some of that uh, commercialization stuff. It's going to happen. There's no question in my mind. Uh, we continue, in the last year, we actually published a couple papers related to that, mm -hmm. and, and we did some other work on it. Um, uh, and it's going to come back again. Uh, it, I still believe completely that the neocortex and the way it works is going to be the foundation for how we build uh, truly intelligent machine. So I haven't changed that belief at all. It's really just like, holy moly, we can now fix, <laughs> we can solve so much of this scientific problem. Let's just focus on that, and then we'll come back to the commercialization stuff. Got it. Okay. Now, one of the things that you actually commented on last year was this feeling or, or this sense that we were getting or hearing from people in the deep learning AI community about the fact that they were hitting a wall. And that conversation has only gathered steam, picked up steam this year. And in fact, some of the more prominent people have recently been calling for, uh, you know, calling out this need for neuroscience. Can, yeah. you, can you comment on that? What does that mean for Numenta? Um, well... There's, at, at some point, we're at this point, we're sort of parallel worlds. The, the, the brain theory has had some effect on machine learning and AI research, but not a lot. Um, but I believe they have to, co to collide. I mean, there, there's, there's, there aren't two ways of building intelligent machines. Okay. And so okay. uh, it's going to be the brain's way. And either you can figure that out through engineering and, and machine learning techniques, or you can figure it out by studying the neuroscience. 
Um, so I am not surprised that AI researchers are stopping, coming back and say, hey, you know what, we can only get so far using the techniques we have now. And we, mm -hmm. and we did see a lot of prominent people say this this last yeah. year, and that's what prompted me to write uh, um, a, a piece of, that we published in media. Yes, The Secret to Strong AI. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's less a criticism, or it's just more of an observation, like these two worlds need to come together. And um, we think we understand a lot about how brains work is going to inform AI. Mm -hmm. um, especially the work we've done this last year. So, uh, so that's just a, it's a natural thing that should happen. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was kind of happy to see it happen. And uh, I think we're going to see more of it. Yeah. Well, that would be exciting if we do. Uh, well, it's, it's <laughs> inevitable in my mind. It's, uh, okay. The two worlds have to, I, don't say, I shouldn't say collide, they have to sort of merge. They have, they have to, to become, together. They have to right. come together. The, 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 the underlying principles of the brain are going to be the underlying principles of true artificial intelligence. So um, that has to be emerging in those two fields. Okay. So last question. It's the same question I ended on last year. What are you most excited about as you look to 2018? Well, I am excited. Um, this is, and you know this, you, I see, do. Me, you see me every day. Um, I've already alluded to this. We, you know, in one sense, our mission is to understand how the neocortex works and to understand the neocortex since it's the same everywhere in the neocortex. Remember, that's one mm -hmm. part of the yeah. long time theory, um, is to really understand what what little one section of the neocortex does, a, a column, if you will, and, and has this laminar structure, the different layers and so on. It's very complicated. We are starting to really deeply understand exactly what's going on in each of those layers in the cortex and getting at a fundamental idea or fundamental theory about how it processes information, builds models of the world. Um, we haven't published this. We haven't even talked about it much at all. Okay. Uh, uh, we're going to do that this coming year. Um, next week, I'm, I'm actually going out and speaking at three universities, um, and uh, I'm going to be talking about some of these pro progress we've made. Um, so those talks will be available. We will probably write some internal documents and white papers over this coming year. And one of our, one of our goals is, of course, to get this in a peer-reviewed published uh, paper mm -hmm. uh, or multiple ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't guarantee that's going to happen this year because it takes a long time to write yes. these papers. So uh, it took over a year to write the paper that came out in October. From the day you start to the day it's actually finished. Right. Um, <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, but uh, so if we're lucky, we'll have our first major paper out in 12 months from now. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will certainly be well along the way. We'll already we'll have published this details in many different forms. There'll be talks mm -hmm. about it, um, et cetera. So it's really filling in the details here in a major way. Uh, I think we're going to, 12 months from now, we're going to come out of this. At the, the rate we're making progress now, uh, we're going to come out of this in, with a, an amazingly, not complete, but amazingly almost complete theory about what all the layers in the neocortex are doing. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty confident about that because yeah. we're almost there already. <laughs> so, so we're really excited about it. The research is exciting. It's exciting to discover the stuff. It's exciting to talk about it. And it's exciting to document it um, and to get it in the debate um, and figure out what we got right and what we got wrong. Yeah. Um, but we are making dramatic progress. And if people want to follow along with the progress, they can follow us on numenta.com. All of the papers are available at numenta.com slash papers. Um, as you said, you, you may be sharing talks um, as you did, you know, yeah. as you have. Well, last years. year we had an internal, we recorded yes. an internal research session here. We put that up for those who watch that. Um, uh, we haven't done that yet for this new stuff. It's really, really fresh. Um, some of it is. And um, so uh, the first things we'll be doing, as I said, there will be probably recordings of some of these symposium talks I'm giving. Mm -hmm. uh, next week I'll be at um, Boston University, uh, Colson Harbor Labs, and MIT. Uh, I gave a, a similar talk recently at uh, Berkeley, but it, it didn't include all the stuff I'm going to talk about next week. Okay. Uh, some of those will hopefully be online, not right. too distant future. Yep. And Which we'll share. We'll yep. share as soon as they are. And then uh, we'll, we'll start documenting our work somehow. Um, uh, throughout the year, so I'm really anxious to do yeah. that. Well, I look forward to sitting down with you again a, a year from now and hearing about all the I problems. mean, I know, it's really kind of crazy. It makes you nervous, like, well, I'm predicting what's going to happen next year. <laughs> but it wasn't bad last year. We did a pretty good job. That prediction was, was pretty, pretty right good. on. Yeah, like, so. <laughs> so we'll see if we can do that again okay. 12 months from now. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thanks, and thanks, everybody, for who follows and is interested in the Menta. Thank you, and have a happy new year. Yeah.